It's interesting. Hey, called it. I mean, it kind of made sense for being on the water and coast and all that stuff and all the boats came up, but I figured the lighthouse would be off. But it wasn't going to surprise me if I just showed up, like, if I would have walked up a path like this and didn't see the neighborhood off in the distance. The lighthouse. Probably my best memories from this godforsaken town. It was here that Ellen and I... Hmm. Mm, did the dirty. Y'all did the dirty. Y'all need Jesus. I like that the sky's moving around one way in a circular pattern. So it almost like a storm is slightly brewing. And then you got the lighthouse going counter to it. And again, he's talking about it. It's a good memory. So, you know, it's going to not be good for much longer. We still got some boats that haven't wrecked completely. God, fucking strafe sounds. So I was probably like right below here. Like I probably, like, I think I looked at both of those boats while I was on the beach. And again, I'm still like, it's still not a loading screen or anything. Like, this is cool. I really should have turned off that center dot too, just to. If I if I'd have known this game would have had. I think I can get inside. If I knew this game was gonna be, a, you know, I'm just gonna do it now. It's probably ha the game's probably ending soon, but you know what? Let's hide that just to make a game look a little prettier. I think I get inside. Well, I'd fucking hope so. There's no door. So as long as there's no creatures, that's. Oh, you fuck. That's uh, a power. I don't have code. For shaking or losing power immediately. Holy shit. It's honestly kind of majestic. So the, hopefully I remember to put a freaking seizure warning at the beginning of that. That was like a light show. That was weird. With the beautiful music and everything, dude. It's been a couple years since I've been in the lighthouse. So I'm scared of heights. And the lighthouse is on the other side of the state. I think I went in 2016? Actually, it, it might have been. This game came out in 2015 in October 27th or whatever. I think I was in a lighthouse the following, like, February 10th. <laughs> Nineteen oh one. I'm assuming that's gonna be the door, but I'm gonna keep going up because I'm already halfway. I might as well see the view. Oh, never mind. What? What do you mean it doesn't go all the way up? This is bull hockey. This audio seems still seems wonky. Began to drink. F only. <laughs> now this music is just so. It's good at times, but then there's just times where it's just. It's just too much. Like, some. It's all. Like, most of it has been alright. And then there's just been a handful of them that are just, like, deafening. And then to blend it off, like, the radios are so quiet. All right, so 1901. It's just so, it trips me out so hardcore with that. And especially because pianos, the no, the, the like, the, the, the frequency of piano notes definitely causes, like, a lot of vibrations in your ears. So when they, the louder they are, so it's just like, oh my god, it almost wants to get, like, I almost get a headache from it. It's not as magical when I'm walking down without music, though. It's almost kind of depressing again. And now I'm going under, like, where the hell am I going? What is down here? It doesn't make sense. I, I, I liked being on the surface of the ground. It was nice being outdoors. Seeing if that keyboard would work. No, a Teresa passing. What is this place? Some kind of bunker? Okay, bunker wasn't part of my list. So, uh, I could... Uh, wow, that's such a great flashlight, actually. This is not bad at all. Uh, this was not on the list of guesses. 
so... It's definitely not the safest of bunkers. It seems like it seems some, see, has seen some, uh... Some, you know, structural destruction, wear and tear kind of thing. But logically, there'd be no monsters down here. They didn't have the door code. Who's Anton? I don't know. Why did I get an achievement for Anton before I even got to the point of figuring out who the fuck Anton is? What anomaly. That's bullshit. Boring. What the fuck are you? Oh, God. That is a lot of Russian. Oh, okay, Russian Federation. Okay. It's funny because while I was walking through that hallway, I was kind of like, this reminds me of Super Seuss, which is a uh, basically a Russian explorer. He goes into abandoned places and he's actually gone into some like military bunker style things. Activity report of agent redacted within the Russian Federation. I'm not saying this is a Russian place. This would be kind of a weird place to have a Russian base or the perfect place because we wouldn't expect it being in some shithole underneath a lighthouse. Hmm. This is also a random turn because I wasn't expecting there to be any government related stuff. Our agent reached the research station. Codename post office box number five in Russia. According to the agent, the prison research complex has fallen into ruin. The equipment has been removed. I thought the lights were going to stay off for a minute there. As have all potential witnesses. There is no concrete proof that the Russian Natural Phenomenon Research Unit was involved in any way to this place. However, our agent reached the lower levels of the complex. He found traces of activity by a person that could be reliably identified as Vitaly Grazenyuk, a former agent of the Russian research unit. Grazenyuk is said to be responsible for the events of the 1959... of, 19, of the 15... Yeah. Grazenyuk is said to be responsible for the events of 1959 that took place in the mountain pass of Mount Atorton, in the northern part of the Ural Mountains. He was kept for years in a psychiatric hospital in Moscow, but escaped under still ex unexplained circumstances. He never left. Oh, was he the one that probably held me in a cave? He was then seen in several places, in including en route to the uh, Aformission Mountain Pass. Later, any traces of him disappeared. According to our intelligence, the Russian authorities are very keen on capturing him. Krasinyuk is allegedly in the possession of full documentation of the phenomenon known as the Anomaly OH191, the appearance of which has intensified. The appearance of which has intensified in recent years, also in the U.S. We've relayed instructions to our agent that capturing Krasinyuk is currently the top priority. We believed his knowledge can help explain what the anomaly is and how to control it. We are maintaining the highest threat level posted by the anomaly and full surveillance. Signed, Dr. William Fortis. William Fortis. So is the anomaly, so is this thing walking around, is this actually a thing that happened? Like, is this an anomaly creature that's just been around? It's like this seems kind of left turnish. Like, it just seems like it's out of the blue. This whole thing's been like a storyline to me. And now all of a sudden it's like, hey, by the way, so do I just leave this bunker now? I thought that was the doorway up there. So, and then it was like, who's Anton? Like, what kind of achievement is that? I don't know if I'm missing anything, so. Nice little kitchen with a little pathway back there. Man, see, just added details. You wouldn't need to add, like, you, you, you box it in, like, I don't know, I, I like this alone. Is a nice little section of detail. They could have just, like, put a door up, but no. I don't like this fucking camera following me. I'm out. I didn't empty my pockets. I didn't really try to hide the entrance to this. I mean, not a lot of people would be traveling into the white or into the lighthouse. But, like... That, like I said, that's a very advanced looking lock. So it's like, if you're going to put it down here, you should put it underneath the door, make a hatch, put a room underneath with a hatch, and then just be like, yeah, that's for some other reasoning. I can't close the door because I guess I would need to. Is there more house? Okay, I was going to say, why is these windows outside? And then I realized that there's doors still. Much better. Much, much better. I like being on the outside. A Oops. path through a cornfield? That can't end well. I don't want you to fucking tell me that. 
I was gonna say it's actually quite quite nice that they gave you a cornfield. Or a path. Not a cornfield. Hold on. Cornfield was not on the list either. This game is just taking me on a roller coaster. Ooh, could I have gone to that building over here? Was that I, I just want to know if I can uh more loot is what I'm thinking. Why would you add this detail here? You son of a bitch. How dare you add things to the game to make it more nice. I can't even get a view from these chairs. This is bullshit. Fine, I'll go into the cornfield. Uh, this is a long cornfield to that house over there. Oh god, am I actually leading to a neighborhood now? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you how far away from the city I am because of that whole underground adventure. Let's not use our sprint in case we need to use it, even though this is a very thin path. So he could, I could get bloody boxed by any kind of asshole. Nice little light going by. It's going to end well. This path is fine, but the end of the path is going to end perfectly fine. It's going to just split off and give me a decision. Cool. That's oh, a tire. Oh, Jefferson. That guy was always a little off. I thought this was a tire was like a guy leaning or sitting on the fence. He's got a fucking bunker too. Jesus. Okay. Electrified water. And I guess that's the, I didn't make a noise. So it threw me off, but the camera shake says that it hurts. Let me just get on the swings. Yay! Yay! Okay, I'm gonna give myself motion sickness doing that. Uh, so there's no way onto this dude's porch. There's a way onto this dude's porch. This is a wide ass stairwell. Jesus. You can pull your car up here. Is that what's going on here? Bullet? Bullet. Another bullet? I, I genuinely don't know what that was. Yeah, another bullet. A photo of people standing in a field. In a cornfield, I should say. With the lighthouse in the background. Okay, that's see, that's cool. And like, I'm sure that that looks like a realist. I, that looks like a real photo, except for like the heads of the adults. And then they probably like photoshopped that house and or they definitely photoshopped the lighthouse. But like, that's cool that they did that. So how much did you make today? Daddy would be so proud. Tell us how much did you spend? Did you buy some new oh, furniture? God. Is the family happy? How's work? Did you brag about your accomplishments? Are your friends jealous already? You're so awesome, Matt. Thank you. No, you're a goddamn liar. You're a fraud, Matt. You're living an artificial life. We know full well you don't want any of the things you have. What do you want, Matt? What do you really want? Is what you have too much? Or maybe it's not enough. Hey, you lost, Matthew. We're telling you outright. You're stuck at a point of no return. And there's no one here. Except us. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. That voice needs to fuck off, though. It's very violent and angry, and I don't appreciate it. Back underground again, dude. Well, there's, yeah, there's nothing I can interact with, but it's a lot. But it was a save point. Interesting. Why is the ground, like, red? Maybe that was just a save point in general. The corn looks like it's doing pretty well. We could probably, like, harvest a piece and just take on the road. I keep wanting to jump so I can, like, look over the corn. This game has gone an interesting path. And I don't want to loop back towards the lighthouse, but that's what's happening. Wait a minute. Please cut back right. Okay, I thought I was going to keep looping back, and I was like... Okay, going back to the beach. How do you even get here? Oh, 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 frame drop like a motherfucker. Like, you'd have come here by car, I guess it was probably like uh, an area blocked off. 
Wow, that was a lot of loading, though. What the hell was that about? Am I going back into a cave, and then I'm going to end up back on the beach, and end up back in a graveyard, and then end up back at the city? <laughs> Just going to turn everything. Everything's going to go back. Jesus Christ. It's the loud noise. You fucking dick. I didn't bring my hard hat today. Stop falling. I just hug the wall. The wall will be safer. Shipyard. Okay, I'm good with that. It's not a cave. As long as I'm out in the open, I feel better. It gets very exhausting being confined. Where's the hospital? Wasn't I? This whole thing started off with me trying to go to the hospital, and now I'm miles away. No way in hell I'm close to the city. The fucking shipyard. Shipyard should have been on the list. I should have thought about a shipyard. But it definitely was not on the list. This looks like a dead end, so I'm gonna go up here first. The boats are rocking. Nice detail. I give it to you. Blade house is still going. I would like to actually see like a scaled map of like, cause I haven't hit a loading screen. So it's like, I definitely, I, I've walked this entire time from the train. Like, and I would like to see like a scaled map to know how far I've walked and like, give me an overview of the area and show me like where I've actually gone and stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool. This is, a, this is a very well done game. I'm actually enjoying this. I mean, I've been playing for two and a half, basically almost two and a half hours. I should tell you it's a decent game. I don't know how much is left. I think the video I looked up earlier for that uh, part where I was stuck. Get me on the boat and I'm just going to take off. These boats don't rock. This game is unrealistic. Ten out of, or zero out of ten unplayable. Oh my god. These boats aren't good enough to have detail like those ones. Actually, the rocking detail of that boat is actually pretty well done. It's the little things you gotta enjoy. Uh, but the video I was watching earlier, uh, I thought I saw like comments on the Steam page saying it's like a four to five to six hour game type of thing. Depends on how I guess how fast you are. But the video I watched was like two to two and a half hours, and I'm at like two and two hours and twenty minutes. So I'm like, am I close to the end? Like, there's still so much questions in my head. No, 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 no. I don't need that. Can't look away. Okay, so, uh, from here, through the woods, back to town, to the hospital. So I was right, there's fucking woods involved. That's what's next. And then I'm gonna end up back at the city, or at least back, uh, uh I'm gonna end up at the hospital. So I'm still on my way to the hospital. I almost feel like there should be, like, a cutscene of a boat coming in and crashing in. Obviously nothing is controlled. And there have been boat crashes. But I'm also good not being ear raped by loud noises and scares, so. And you know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not actually complaining. <laughs> it's a hospital. But instead of by helicopters, they're by boat. That way, when you get here, you just. You're, you, you're like, oh, we got a boating accident. You just boat right up to the dock and get wheeled in. The hospital. Oh, I don't like this. It is interesting that you actually have reflections on light, on windows. I know a lot of times when I'm playing games, I'll pick up on details that, like... Most people wouldn't give two shits about, or it's like a common detail. Like I said, I like to just enjoy the little details. Because you didn't need to make your... You didn't need, need to make windows reflective of your own flashlight. What the fuck was that noise for? 
Now, why do you think I would trust going into a shipping container that's easily going to close on me? Give me these pain pills. I clearly have a problem. See, I get the little icon for pain meds. And then it disappears. And I don't know if I'm just auto-using pain meds that auto-heal. Or... Because there was no button to use them. And if that were the case, why would you give me meds other than for two reasons? One, I had just got done with a fight to get hurt. Or I was about to start one. I got a gun. Let me grab these propane tanks and we're going to just blow shit up. Refrigerated, refrigerated power service. And refrigerated freaking containers. I haven't really thought about that idea. So I'm assuming there's going to be a, an NPC here. It's been a good while since I've seen an NPC, so. Going to be under the assumption, because I still don't even know what the hell that scary noise was. Was the noise because maybe I saw the, the door open and I wasn't actually, like I didn't catch it? Sorry, I'm also looking for a little, like, things to interact with and or loot. Like, uh box of ammo or something this door is empty because that, that crack earlier showed me the building is empty nothing rendered in there all right well that wasn't too bad save zone okay we're good man i guess i just uh, all the games i would play that were horror were always just such terrifying games and stuff to the point where like every game that i've picked like i said i, I tried not to pick one that was super high on uh, the story is to try to just make it more of a scare horror game and then even this one it's like it's so cool like I, I like the just walking around aspect of it I don't mind it at all I feel like I'm going on an adventure I'm not stuck I'm seeing new locations every area is different type of thing like I haven't really been scared scared like I said it was like the enemies you don't get one shot so it makes it a lot less scary I uh, have a gun so it makes it a lot less scary Shit, the scariest part is the, my own feet behind me. But I'm definitely intrigued on, like, what the hell is happening. Okay, I guess I'm going to go down this one. Nobody should be honking a horn. Nobody's been around to honk a horn. Horns don't honk themselves. Painkiller? See, it shows up in the bottom left-hand corner. Does that just mean it heals me? But I'm, cause I'm, I don't think I, I didn't say the game wasn't creepy. I just meant it's not like Outlast creepy where you're just always stressed and always scared. There's plenty of motion moments of like, this is nice. As long as I got the ammo to shoot some. Creepy mofos were good. It doesn't even sound like a freaking horn. I'm gonna try to keep my camera angled up a little bit so I can see anything and then immediately see the bitch on the ground like a rude mofo. Oh, I was like, this container looks tiny. It's in between containers. Got it. Makes sense. I mean, like, these guys got lazy. I also didn't actually think about the fact that I had a six shooter. And the most bullets I've had in it were five. <laughs> Crouch. I'm sure this is a dead end. I was just... I had to check it out. Directional audio is alright. I really wish I could jump. It's telling me... The boxes are telling me to go up. I should go up. not making noises so there are times where I feel like the monsters don't make a noise so I don't know if he's actually getting triggered by me or not oh is this the way I have to go I don't know if there's more so I definitely need to be cautious because I would like to not use my ammo I mean if I don't need to but I thought I was going to keep going the, that way around him there's something here multiple things here. Am I about to stock up on fucking ammo here? I don't know how much I like that. You told me to be careful on usage of ammo because 
you might not have enough type of thing like be cautious of where you use your ammo oh, i think i am gonna have to go back yeah wait there was nothing over here right oh there is a way over here cool so i don't actually have to try to sneak by that dude that's cool but you just gave me ammo which tells me i'm gonna be walking into quite a few more as long as they don't like that first one how he appeared behind me as long as that's not the case i'm good Dude, the anomaly type of dude. He's just swimming. You're just chilling, taking a shower. Oh, he's doing the same walk as the other guy. I didn't realize he was actually moving. Oh. What the hell was that? Like, I feel like I'm going faster all of a sudden. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, see, now I'm back to crowd. Like, there's times where it just seems like it speeds me up. I'm curious, but so this is a dead end. This was probably so I could try to. I don't know. Either way, I wasn't expecting that guy. I let my guard down for a minute. I, my brain was thinking something. I don't even remember what I was thinking. But, uh, I, I hesitated my shot. I was hoping that maybe he would, like, not notice me right away. But she didn't notice me right away, so that was good. No. Okay. Yeah, but no, but when it comes to the creatures... When it comes to the standard creatures, they're not that... I mean, they're faster than me, so it's kind of a dick move, that dick thing to deal with. But, like, they don't one-shot me, and it's like, once you fight one, they're not really that big of an issue. And I guess as long as you have something to melee them back with, it's fine, because I think that was one reason why I didn't die on the bridge. Like, he was bugged, but I feel like, uh, like, with these ones, like, I hit them with the gun, they fall back, they don't hit me, and I get to shoot them. Lovely. lovely 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 like what the f look at that the way it moves like especially at the top of each one of those you can tell it's kind of in a circular bubble but it, it's like drawing back into the container rather than coming down i know it's probably not supposed to be like that and they just did whatever but it's, it's in, it makes it look interesting because it looks like it's defying looks like it's defying physics like gravity or whatever physics liquid physics well, that just rolled, so that tells me this is the way you want me to go. It's not the way I necessarily want to go. I'd like to just climb up those containers. Fucking footsteps. This is a hidey hole. Do we have patrol here? Another hidey hole. Tells me there might be a patrol of some kind. I just have to be careful that I don't kick it because I might be able to fucking move the damn thing. And that looks like a hidey hole right there. What the hell is this place? Like, I'm trying to make sense of its, like, layout for game mechanic wise. So I think I'm just overthinking it as usual, but, like. I didn't actually think about the fact that there was a container getting absorbed to it. Also, is it acid? Or is it created, like, to where it's just eating away? Or is it becoming just, like,. Is it just like, like it's eating the ground and just creating a giant pool for the stuff to sag into, or is it just again? I'm now I'm just full speed, full size, um, full speed crouch walking and get crouching again. Yeah, no, it just does it eat everything away and does it actually drag it underneath like quicksand? But in order to do that, it would have to eat the ground away, or it would be like a portal to where it's taking it somewhere else. And these keep looking like. Uh, 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 notes. They are not notes. Oh, uh, but yeah, so the creatures in here, I don't remember if I finished that thought. Creatures aren't too scary just because they're pretty easy to deal with. I definitely don't want to use up all the enemies anyway screwed because well, I am also saying that in the fact that I do have bullets. Because if I didn't have bullets, I'd probably hate them a lot more because I could fight back. But then again, as long as I have the gun, I imagine I could melee them, kind of knock them over. But I... 
just guessing that. I'm trying to look for items, I think. Is that now? Is that a backpack right there? Like, whoosh. Like, whoosh. Who do you? It does feel good. You can be like, 180. The quit. The. Dr Loading barrels. Uh, the drawing of the gun is actually pretty pleasing in here. So once I draw the gun, uh, it wasn't a backpack. Once once I'm crouched and draw the gun, then I immediately speed up. And the reason that worries me is because I think the game doesn't trigger me as sneaking anymore. So it's like, yeah, I'm crouching and I'm moving faster, but I think it's just going to assume that I'm actually walking. So I definitely want to be triggered as walking. The dude's putting his hand on nothing. I'm a champion. It's also a good thing that gunshots don't attract more. Because that would suck. But like that one. I couldn't avoid that. <laughs> I guess the other ones I could avoid where some people might just want to shoot them all. So I think I'm doing all right with bullets. But uh. And I'm probably overthinking the fact that when they say to be careful to not use them all. As I'm probably going to run into another one that I don't need to be because I'm just exploring at this point. That's what I wanted. I also like the time slow effect. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm a fan of that as well. Alright. I thought somebody left his van lights on, but it's literally just the light from that thing. All right, I would like to hop up on the cars. That'd be cool. I feel like I should be sneaking because I feel like there's a monster around here because there's cars I can hide behind and stuff like that. So I'm going to go back into his... I thought that tire was a crouch, dude. And I was going to be like, really? I just walked into him? Oh, so it's not even drawing the gun. The minute I zoom in while crouching. Yeah, I think the audio changes back to walking sounds. I guess I'm going over here. Looks like I have no choice but to go through Father's factory. Shocker. Hey, you old bastard. And I didn't believe you when you said I'd be coming back here. For real. So yeah, this is me facing my demons throughout my life, I like type of thing. Is how I would um, uh, initially take it. But then you're going to go ahead and throw in uh, some Russian experiment like anomaly with the guy on the loose and probably the one in the raincoat who didn't help or didn't murder me oh good one of the first times that's actually prevented me from being able to go back 